A handmade white cedar canoe may not fit under the Christmas tree, but it certainly was a gift, especially to the Maine Cancer Foundation. My wife's a cancer survivor, so I thought it would be nice to give back. Ross Brown made the canoe and through a raffle at area breweries, it raised about $1,100 for the Maine Cancer Foundation, all to stay right here in the state to fight the disease. Bissell Brothers even matched money raised during a day of ticket sales when they pulled the winner. When they proposed this idea to us, um, it, was, it was something that we didn't even hesitate on. The canoe itself was a labor of love, and trying to figure out what to do with it also involved love. Corey Emmons works for Town & Country, a big supporter of the MCF, and after watching his father-in-law build it, another idea was born. My mother-in-law had cancer and she's a cancer survivor, and I don't think there's a person in the world who hasn't been affected by cancer, so what better way to get out there and raise some money for a good cause. The Maine Cancer Foundation says its end of year donations are essential to the work they do, especially when charitable giving is on our minds. It's all about coming together as a community to challenge cancer, something Ross Brown says fits perfectly with being a hobbyist and a craftsman. For me, I'm not really capable of a selfish act of kindness because kindness makes me feel good. And though the end of the year may be upon us, this event was the start for Craft for a Cure, an organization now dedicated to giving back going forward. We actually have a lumber yard who has donated all the cedar to build the next canoe for next year. And you still have a chance to help the Maine Cancer Foundation meet its end of year goal. They've received a $20,000 matching gift. Now, if you donate by the 31st, your gift will be matched dollar for dollar. You can go to the Maine Cancer Foundation's Facebook page. You're looking at it right now. You can uh, click donate or you can go to maincancer.org.